Ghost here today. We are in back in American Truck Simulator. Been a little bit. I have a whole basically whole new setup. Um, I still got my old console, so we still have our switches here. No signal lights or anything like that. I still have so there's my toggle for the engine brake. Um, a couple of new things I have done is we got like a whole new dash. I do have a LED, L, LCD. <laughs> Uh, display basically is just a tablet and everything, but I have uh, an app down. I think it's called Sim Pro uh, or uh, Sim Dashboard. Sorry, and so I can basically turn the truck off if I want. Start it up like this. I've got a switch up here that I can turn my headlights on and off with. Um, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And also, I can see my uh, RPL speedometer. Um, basically everything here even when I turn my uh, engine brake on it'll actually show me on the screen now you can get different dashes this is actually like I think it's a, either a 48 or a 68 uh, or a 58 uh, Mercedes Benz the dash looks old in the truck but if it's like a newer say Mac or International or Peterbilt I can actually almost clone that dash on here so we can actually see the display on our tablet and not in the actual truck here which is pretty cool. But today we are in Alaska and we're going to be doing some ice road trucking. Yes, you can fall through the ice. So we're going to have to be careful. We're going to go ahead and get started. We've got about 114 miles to go, two hours and 30 minutes. And it looks like it's 3.10 a.m. So hopefully it gets daylight here soon. We were hauling an excavator back there, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and make this turn. I don't think there's nothing coming. got to watch because you will slide over in this snow. It's pretty bad. We're just going to take your time. Because we are kind of low to the ground since we do have kind of like a low buoy. Nothing's coming, so I'm going to try to ride the middle here and not be so rough because you can damage your truck if you're going too fast and everything. So we definitely want to make sure we're going to, we're not going to damage it. We'll go ahead and take it right right here. We're going to swing it pretty good. Wow. I think we'll go ahead and drop down to second. Open it wasn't too wide. There we go. Perfect. Trailer's coming along nice. We're going to try to straddle this so it's not so rough. But when we get so far up here, it's it's going to get bad. There we go. It's going to get real bad and you can fall through the ice. We're just going to have to boogie and try to find out where the uh, sweet spots are. That's what we're looking for. And we're only a five-speed truck. So we're not going to be able to go through, you know, uh, a 10-speed or, you know, 13 or 18-speed. We're only a five-speed because we are an old classic truck. So kind of have to remember that. And I turned my high beams on, which I, I need to get some switches and stuff. I need to get me some more switches and wire up. But on the uh, the screen here, it does show my high beam icon, which I really love. It has, like, different templates you can download or make your own. Um, I, I'm going to be starting to play some BeamNG.Drive. That's just a crazy long name. But anyways, I got it so I can hit full drive, and it shows me and everything. So... Definitely going to be using the simulator a lot more. Plan on hopefully using it in the crew. And also I'm going to be bringing some Forza. And just just do a lot more with the simulator. Because I do put, I, you know, I put a lot of work into it. I really enjoy it too. Alright, so I think we're going to go ahead and hit fourth. And we're going to try our best. And I think we're going to hit, stay in third. I'm going to try not to hit anything. Because every little like bump you hear like that could be the ice cracking on it so and I hear it cracking <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay over here we're just gonna stay hammered down right now because if there are holes here it, where this white snow is there are holes in there so 
if we get close, I want to bounce right out. So that's kind of, oh, my, kind of the ideal. Because if the front end goes in, we're stopped. I don't even know really what the speed limit is over ice, but I think like this. Oh, I see some, I'm hoping, I think that's land. Looks like a little incline, so when we hit the incline, we're just going to hammer down because I don't want to get stuck, especially out here on the ice. Um, looking like this might be our best option. Luckily, nothing's coming because I don't think there's traffic because it is a mod in Alaska, but I'm hoping we don't hit anything. All right, come on, baby. She's chugging along. I wish it was daytime. I do plan on doing another load out of Alaska, so we'll probably do two loads, but it'll be different videos, and then we'll probably, you know, head out of cold weather for now because wintertime is up on among us. And here in good old West Virginia, all the trees are changing. The road is like covered with leaves. It's really pretty, but it don't last long. Then everything, you know, completely dies. There's no leaves and it's snowing and it's cold as crap. But Halloween, you know, October is one of my favorite months because it is Halloween. I, I love it. And I think uh, over this coming weekend, I'm going to be going to some haunted houses. So I'm pretty excited about that. So hopefully everybody's having a great October. We have a hundred miles. We are rolling. We are bumping. Look at the headlights. I mean, this has to be a brutal beating for this old truck. Has to. I'm gonna go ahead and stay in third. I wish it was more smoother. Like before I know, actually right now it's muted right now in the office, but I actually have ice road uh, ice road truckers playing so it's like like that and I didn't even turn it on it's like it was that was what was on I was like now that's just kind of fitting we gotta watch because if we hit smooth like this and we go to hard or bumpy we're gonna be doing you know 20 30 miles an hour and it's gonna throw us for a loop Truck seems to be pulling us pretty good, but we don't have a lot of power. Looks like it's getting... Yep. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, snap, snap, snap. Oh, slow down. Could you imagine? I wish it was daytime. I guarantee you the rear axle on the truck and tra well, probably the truck had to be bouncing off the ground. I wonder we didn't break something. If it had like beam and G physics, we would have broke something. <laughs> Alright. This truck's really weird too. Um, I don't know, maybe I have to set it up, but when you pull out, the, you, the clutch does not bite until basically your foot's off of it. And by the time your foot's already off of it, you know, you're, you're just idling almost. I, I don't like how that's up, uh, but, you know, we're making it. Come on. <laughs> it's like, I'm going too slow. I, I can't. I'm going too slow to be in fourth. I'm going too uh, fast to be in third. So the gearing is really not that good set up in his truck. But, I mean, we're getting it there. Just going to relax and keep on rolling. My mirrors are useless right now because it's daytime. I mean, night time. Come on. Come on. We are losing RPMs a little bit, but here we go. Building it back up. This is nothing but ice. We don't have chains on, so it's like we are... Oh, man. We're, we're kind of... We're kind of screwed if we have to stop because it's ice. I'm just hoping we can make it where we're going. It's still a floor right now, so, I mean, we still got 
136 liters of fuel, so we're good. And we're running at 13.5 volts, so we're perfect. All right, let me go ahead. Downshift. That's the thing, it's like, I don't know, when we start spinning, that's when it gets bad. And I know this trailer's low, so I know we're scraping snow. Oh. Probably should have waited until daylight before we actually took this thing out. I don't even know what the uh, engine brake sounds like because, you know, we're not at a place where I can actually use the engine brake. Come on, baby. I hate when I go and forth though because the time we do get some good speed, it's too bumpy. I'm gonna try to stay over here because if we can just hit this one bump instead of two, I think we'll be alright. But right up here looks like there's a lot of bumps. So I'm gonna try to dodge it. That's some deep uh deep little <laughs> little bumps there. Alright. I feel like we're going to downshift here soon. Come on, baby. I'm just waiting for somebody to come through and I just have to jerk it over, but I don't think there's any other cars on this map mod. So, kind of, uh, Kind of helps us out. I need I need to get a truck so we can start pushing some snow. There we go. Again, it's like I don't know if it's us spinning or you know we're just bogging down pretty good. And as soon as I let off the fuel, it's like nope, bam. Trying to kill the RPMs. Keeping a half throttle. Trucks way, way underpowered. Ah, uh, get a little bit of daylight. It's why I like having the LC uh, the uh, screen because I can be outside truck and. Still see what the spin on for is or the uh the RPM is. It's like I don't want to mess this up because we are kinda of sort of going up a hill and we would never get put out. Oh, this is gonna be a bad hill. I'm just gonna keep it floored. Hoping for the best. baby get back on our side keep on chug it 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 come on baby I wish we could put chains on what is this I'm waiting to see like Bigfoot or something oh we got a car that was in the trees all right Got some markers here. That was a pretty little steep hill, not gonna lie. So, 6 30, we gotta be there at 8 05. So, I don't know. It's just a really bad road. It's like, I'm hoping because it is a map mod, though, I don't know if they're accommodating like. I can only go so fast because right now it's saying that we can go 50. There's no way I could go 50 on this road. I mean, even if I had a 800 horsepower truck, it would beat the crap out of a truck. You'd literally be bouncing and just be absolutely insane. Turn the heat up a little bit. It's like a little bit chilly in here. Ain't a Ain't a lot of, <laughs> ain't a lot of heat coming in this cab. Come on. What do we 
have here? What in the world is this? We're going over. I'm just going to floor it. What kind of shady back road crap are they sending us on? I have a semi oversized load too, so that's that's not good. Alright, I'm gonna head forth because we gotta make some good time, but that's some uh, shady road work there. I mean you could have put a little bit decent bridge back there. Like I go to force, I'm like, oh, we're gonna open her up, and it's like, nah, not today. This is, this is actually a pretty good little load here that we got. Looks like we got a road here, but we're gonna go straight. Thank goodness, because. Having to stop and pull out or try to make a turn right there because that would be an instant. Oh, they got a truck up there stuck. Well, we didn't have to go up there, so I mean, we probably could have got around them. We're not that big of a load, but we're really low to the ground, though. 50 miles. Don't seem like long, but we've only had um, 114. Dude, is that a hill up there? I'm kind of scared to see what's next because we don't have chains. We don't have a, a extra axles, so... We've got just one set, just the rear, so. I think I'm just gonna leave it in third because it takes too long for fourth to build up. I'll go ahead and just leave my park lights on. Oh man. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Come on, baby. If we start spinning, I can't do anything about it. That's as fast as we can get up this hill. Come on. This is actually, it's a little bit nerve-wracking because I want to make it. I want to make it up this hill. Come on, baby. Come on. Go, go, go. He's thinking about it. That might have been like the worst ever. Alright. I think we're good. If we can get some daggone good flat road, we can make some time. This is what we're running into. <laughs> it's like, it looks good, but we're all over the road, man. Oh, I'm like going to fly out over here. All right. 39 miles. It's like the RPMs go up when I go down. It goes down and up, down and up. Oh my gosh, come on, baby. I know you got it. Here we go. Switch gears. Drop a gear and out of here. Drop a gear and disappear. Well, it's for us, it's like drop a gear. 
hopefully we can still keep going. Come on. This is like <laughs> the worst. Hey, look, we don't have anybody behind us. One problem with this truck, that daggone secondary window, it <laughs> it gets in the way, especially the driver's side, so have to look around. Also, I was driving the cab over and you all said you can roll your windows down. Did not know. I actually have switches set up on this panel now that I can roll the windows down and roll the windows back up. So we're good. That way if we got a truck with really tinted windows, I can actually roll them down and everything. Uh-oh. Don't spin on me. It's like, I don't know when we're spinning and when we're not. Thinking about it. On the road again. I can't wait to get on a freeway again. There we go. I get that that warm air. Customer specs delivery very soon. It's already nine. We supposed to be there at five. No, I mean eight. We got, maybe it was nine. I don't know, but we're, we're doing we're doing all we can. It's like if y'all don't like it, then y'all start hauling. Come on, baby. I wish they had. Like, I got down here and they are like, yeah, we're going to put you in that yellow nanner over there. I'm like, it's going to be something cool. Yeah, it's a Mercedes, but it's from like way back in the day. It's really nice. I love classics, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> now we're, we're pulling some heavy stuff. It's like fourth to third, fourth to third. Leave it in third, to be honest. I didn't think about this truck when you turn the signal lights on. It shows both of them going, but on the display, only the right one's going. So I don't know if. Okay, that only that one's going. Yeah, so the dash is a little wonky, but I mean the signal lights work. So. I mean, maybe that's how it was in like the real, the, you know, real thing, so I have no clue, but really great truck. I do quite enjoy it. It's to the floor right now. We need some more power in this mug. Slowly. <laughs> We're slowly making it. 26 minutes we're going to be there and 16 miles. 1010 is our destination. Now, once we top up here, I'm going to try to go ahead and sling her in fourth and hopefully be okay. Alright, fourth gear, come on now. Yeah. Get it going. It's 9.56, 57. Go with third. I seen snow blowing. It's like when you get an open area, you can see like snow blowing past. It's pretty cool. Come on. I want to try to get a little run at that. Go, go, go. 17. Still 17. 18. Watch out now. Oh, yeah. If it'll stay like this, I think we'll be okay. Come on. 
on, go, go, go. Uh oh. Come on, baby. Come on. Bad thing is, it's like. If I don't make it, I'm getting stuck. I don't have the keys to the uh, excavator, so really wouldn't do us no good. I'm gonna hate if we get stuck. No, we're picking. We're picking up more speed. Got some wind blowing through here. Come on! Once we get around this bend, I'll throw it in a second or a third, but I, I, like, I don't want to mess it up. We might leave it here. Golly, what a bouncy road. I got some holes here. Third gear. I think we'll be alright. I'm all over the road, but I ain't seen anybody, so we're okay. I mean, if I see people, I'll, I'll pull over. Like, you know, just like that. Wom wom. That back end has to be jumping. The RPM gauge is doing that because we're going up and down, up and down, up and down. We're getting close. I'm hoping it's a decent place that we can go into. It's going to take us forever just to get to the turn off. Like, I'm looking like, oh, okay, here it is, but we can't. And you can't really see um, the GPS by camp. What's this on? Oh, decent sound. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll be doing another load here at the Alaska. If you want me to do some more in Alaska, put down in the comments. Or if you uh, see some trucks I should try out, definitely put it in the comments. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next haul. And I'm out of here. <laughs> honk, yeah. honk.